Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Thursday, March 12, 2015, and let's get to it. Despite the fact that he's about nine weeks away from hitting the stage at the New York Pro, Max Charles doesn't appear to be showing any signs of slowing down. Charles' Herculean strength is the stuff of legend, and his most recent display of making 405 on the incline bench look like he's pressing a bale of feathers only adds to the lore. In a tank tap, Charles has a legitimate claim to being one of the freakiest looking athletes in all of bodybuilding. And after a standout rookie campaign, he's hoping that he brings his sophomore season to the same level of success both on and off the stage. Amit Sapir is back in the office doing what he does best. Just a few months removed from setting a 722 pound world record in the squat at 198 pounds, Sapir is back under the barbell working towards what he hopes will be another record setting season. Earlier in the week, Sapir was spotted in the gym making short work of 605 pounds for six clean reps. When he wasn't breaking records last year, Sapir was busy breaking into the top 10 in three separate 212 Pro events. At this point in time, Sapir has no exact plans as to when he'll step onto a bodybuilding stage in 2015. But rest assured, with heavy training lifting like he's doing, Sapir will certainly be one of the thickest competitors in the men's 212 division. Brian Balzano is on the road to recovery after suffering through some injuries. Last year, Balzano exploded onto the scene when he won the overall at the NPC Mike Francois Classic in his very first show, then went on to destroy the middleweight class at the USA Championships, where he earned his IFBB Pro card. A few weeks ago, Balzano suffered a back injury while training that has temporarily put him on the sidelines. But now it appears that Balzano is on the mend, back in the gym, and looking to make up for lost time as he tries to put on some quality size while getting his health and physique back on track. Balzano told Muscle in the Morning that he doesn't have any plans about when he intends to step on stage next, but he'll make his debut when he feels that he's got enough in the tank to hold his own in the 212 lineup. Keith Williams looks like he's honed in his Jedi focus for 2015. Since turning pro back at the 2012 Team Universe, Williams has steadily improved in nearly every show he's entered, including bringing his all-time best to last year's Orlando Europa Pro. Recently, Williams announced that his next appearance on stage will be at the LA Pro, which is set to take place July 18th in Culver City, California. And if he can manage to bring his newly added size, along with the conditioning we saw from him a year ago, we could very well find him in the top six for the first time in his career. There's an old Indian folktale about a mythical monster known as a Windingo that stalks the lands of Canada and the northern parts of the U.S. And now, an exclusive Muscle in the Morning investigation has undercovered the true identity of this mythological beast from the Great North, and it goes by the name Ian Valier. Photos of this monstrous creature have surfaced recently with indication that it may in fact show up at the Orlando Europa Pro eight weeks from now, looking bigger, freakier, and ravenously hungry. With the level of momentum Valier has after sweeping the Amateur Olympia Latin America last year, don't be surprised to see this young Canadian standing in the top five callout at his very first pro contest. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.